All right, I'm going to show you the basics of making animated figures in Python. If you just watched my intro, that is basically what I'll be teaching you today, but it's going to be a much simpler example. So we really only need matplotlib. And let's just make our x and y values. I'm just going to use range 50, so 0 to 50, and then the same thing for y. And we can plot this real quickly. We see we just have a simple y equals x line. Actually, I think that's kind of boring. So why don't I make this a log equation instead? And we'll just do math.log2. Uh, because the log zero, so we have to go to 150. All right, now we have this nice log two equation here. I just think it's a little more interesting to look at than just a straight line. But all we really have to do is make a loop where we chop this up at the different x values and then put all the figures together in the end. So we'll just loop over the x for index and x. And then we'll just do another plot very similar to this. So I'll just copy it down here. But now I'm only going to take the values up to i. So we'll just do that. And then let's just do a plot.show. All right, you see one thing here is that this won't make a good animation because the x and the y axes change each time. All we're going to do is see this bend a little bit. So one of the fundamentals to making an animated figure is we need the x and y axes to stay the same. But depending on your project, maybe you'll want them to change. Here, I'm going to keep them the same. So we'll just do a plot.xlim. And we know that x goes from 1 to 50. And then for our y lim, so for the y lim, instead of finding the log, values of 1 and 50, what we'll just do is pass the minimum value of y and then the maximum value of y and then add just a little bit of buffer space. So let's just add 0 0.05. And now if we run this, you see the y and the x axes stay the same. And we get now instead of bending line, we see this growing line. Well, that's basically it for the figure. I'm just going to make the line with a little thicker. And then we need to make a directory to save these figures in. So let's just make a directory called images. And then now we just need to save these. So we'll just do a plot.savefig. And then we need to pass an F string. You'll see in a second Y images. And then this is an important part. We need to format the number. We need to save these so that they're ordered by number. So we're going to pass the index and then format it with three digits. So let me just show you what's going on here. The last i should be 49. So if we do that, you see it's a 0, 49. But we can do this with any number, like 5 just going to be 005. And then if you were to add more digits here, you see it just adds more zeros. So this is important to specify so the program we use later can put all the images in the right order. And then let's just specify quality, DPI of 100. And then instead of being transparent, let's make the face color white. And I don't need these to clutter my screen right now. So I'll just do a plot.close instead of show. Oops, you have to spell that correctly. And then we're going to use image magic to convert those images into a GIF. There's multiple different software you can use. I just found image magic to be really simple. You can install image magic into your Conda environment pretty easily. I'm sure there's other ways to install it if you don't have Conda. And we're just going to use convert and then delay. And we're going to try five at first. The bigger the number, the slower the GIF. And then we just want to point at the images we just created. And then we'll just call it test.gif. So we have this nice little line graph. It just goes up 
and then disappears. I'm just going to show you one nice little trick where instead of disappearing, we can make it so it goes back slowly. The simplest way to do that is just going to be to save another figure, but this time we're just going to subtract the index from 100. So now the very first image is also going to be the very last image. As you can see, actually making an animated GIF in Python is very simple. Actually coming up with the idea is the hard part. So what I'll do is I'll just show you a couple quick examples of GIFs I've made in the past. This one, which you saw at the beginning of my video, is just basically a scatter plot, and each point just moves along a line between two different states. And then here's a really fast version of my COVID variant app. I use a different software to put the images together in my video, but I use the same basics of what I just showed you. And then we have this one, which is just basically a big NumPy array, which I show with matplotlib -im show. So there's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, I hope this gives you some inspiration.